So I have not ever watched The Big Bang Theory. I know that's probably kind of shocking to some of you, but I've never seen a single episode of it, and I'm completely unacquainted with Kaylee Cuoco as an actress. But I have to say she is easily the best thing about the flight attendant in the pilot episode. I think that this show, to a large extent, seems content to just coast by on her very, very considerable charms. And I don't feel that she comes across as if she's trying too hard. I think a lot of actors try to be charming, and she has a very unaffected charm that is kind of refreshing, honestly, and it goes a long way. I think that the poster for this show kind of gives you a pretty good idea of what you're in for. It kind of looks like a lighthearted romp, but it also has kind of suggestions of Hitchcock, and that's kind of a pretty good summary of this show. I mean, it kind of feels like one of those airport paperbacks uh, that you would pick up, and if you picked it up, you probably would enjoy it because it's pretty well done for what it is. I'm not going to tell you it's like the best show of the year or anything ridiculous like that, but it is very, very entertaining, and it's very, very good at what it's trying to do. Uh, it doesn't really have any significant flaws from my perspective. The first episode is pretty good at hitting the ground running. The inciting incident happens pretty quickly, and it's a little bit of a challenge for me to know how to go about talking about this episode because there is something that happens in the first 10 minutes that's pretty important, but I feel like the trailers kind of don't quite spoil it. Like They kind of make it very obvious what's going to happen, but they don't quite tell you that it happens or how it happens. So I'm a little bit reluctant to reveal this, but I'm going to go ahead anyway because I feel like it's impossible to discuss this episode. So if you really, really are convinced you're going to watch this and don't want spoilers, come back uh, when you're done after you've seen the episode. But in the first 10 minutes, this flight attendant, Cassie, played by Kaylee Cuoco, obviously, who has very, very serious addiction issues. She seems to be addicted to men and to alcohol. She's very much a binge drinker and she has problems with blacking out. Uh, she wakes up in bed uh, with this man that she was on a date with the night before that she met on a flight. And he's played by Game of Thrones' Michael Hoosman or The Haunting of Hill House. Very recognizable actor at this point. And he is dead. He has had his throat slit and she is covered in his blood. Uh, so what happens here, you've got kind of a Hitchcockian setup where she doesn't know what happened. She, For all she knows, she did kill him while she was blackout drunk. I mean, most of us wouldn't immediately jump to that conclusion, but what are we supposed to conclude given that you know she spent the night with him and now he's dead? Uh, so you've kind of got this Hitchcockian setup where she responds in exactly the wrong way and tries to cover it up because she's in Bangkok uh, and immediately finds herself investigated uh, by law enforcement who seem to think she's a good suspect. Uh, so right off the bat, this show has a lot of pleasures. There's a very, very energetic soundtrack, which I feel like probably makes people feel like this show is a lot more energetic than the script does necessarily. But like I said, Kaylee Cuoco is really carrying this thing. She's really charismatic. There are other really good performances here. I appreciate in particular Rosie Perez who's playing this flight attendant who seems to react to the antics that Kaylee Cuoco's character gets up to with a sort of wry amusement, not very judgmental, uh, and just willing to accept her. But she also seems a little bit concerned and unsure what to do once she realizes that her friend is being investigated. And it's unclear how this is going to play out in future episodes. But the pitch for this show seems pretty obvious. You have this character who can't stay away from alcohol or men, and now her ability to do that is going to be the only thing that can keep her from being uh, put in prison, potentially, for a murder that she doesn't know whether or not she committed. So right away, this show is making it very obvious what her flaws are and how the challenge that she's facing is going to put her into direct conflict with those flaws, which is a good setup. Uh, it handles it very, very lightly. This is not like a serious, serious show. Pretty much every 30 seconds, there'll be some kind of joke 
And I can't say that any of them were laugh out loud funny, but I felt like the whole thing was kind of mildly diverting and they kept the energy going throughout. I think that this is obviously pitched more towards uh, women than men. And I think that a lot of the reasons that this is pitched to women are obvious. You have a female protagonist, you have this job, she's a flight attendant, and we get to see her doing her job and kind of get an idea what that would be like. But we also get to see some exotic travel and you get to see her you know, wearing outfits. And she's kind of supposed to be, I think, a relatable every woman, uh, whether or not she comes away across that way to you. Uh, you know, depends on how you respond to her. Uh, some people might not find her likable, but I did for my part. Uh, and I think that, you know, while the thriller aspects didn't come that heavily to play in the first episode, it definitely seems like there's potential there. It seems like it's going to head in an espionage direction, although it's not entirely clear just yet. Uh, so you've got the travel aspects, the espionage aspects, and this relatable character who is responding to some pretty extreme circumstances uh, and constantly quipping. So, you know, there's a lot of things here to like. Uh, I think that a lot of people will enjoy this show. I don't know if I'm going to watch more episodes. I think one thing that might hurt this show is I feel like they're going to uh, annoy people if they don't release it all at once because this seems like the type of show that was made to be binged. I'm not like a big proponent of binging, but sometimes things uh, like alcohol just call for binging. Uh, so to me, this seems like it fits that bill. So if they release it, even a couple episodes at a time, I feel like they run the risk of annoying people quite a bit. Uh, so I think they're probably going to stick to that, but maybe like uh, Love Life with Anna Kendrick, they'll switch things up and release it a little bit more quickly. So those are my thoughts on the pilot episode of The Flight Attendant. Let me know what you thought in the comments. I'm Drew, by the way. If you're interested in seeing more reviews like this one, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>